how your packaging is affecting your Etsy sales. Now, this is something I don't usually talk about a whole lot for the reason being that most of the time when people are buying on Etsy, they're buying for the product and then the packaging becomes sort of the finisher, right? The last thing that they get, the last touch of you before they become product center. But if you're the type of person who knows you are gonna be wholesaling your stuff, you know that your packaging plays a lot in getting people to return back and buy from you. I'm gonna teach you some things that are gonna make a difference when it comes to getting more sales. So one of the first things you have to learn is who you're targeting so you can reverse engineer what they're interested in and then present them the things that they're interested in. Let me show you some examples here. Now, do you know what they're trying to show us here? Is that this product is light. This is important to them. Rice Krispie Treats are light. They're not a heavy, dense thing that we're doing. And so you're gonna notice that the way they design the box is going upward because things that are light float. So the spoon is moving up. The, the cereal itself is in an upward motion. The font, everything we have is upward because we're trying to get light. This is Dave's Killer Bread. Dave's Killer Bread is a dense bread. They really want, you can see from the outside the way it's transparent, they're trying to show you the grain that is here. This is a heavy, dense bread. It's gonna fill you up, but it's also organic and good for you. So what they're gonna do here is they're gonna have their logo in the center, and then at the bottom right, they're gonna put this kind of heavy font that's here. Now this is important why it's in the bottom right, because our brains work like it's a seesaw. So we imagine a seesaw doing this when we put weight on it, right? It sinks, and so they put the bottom right sinks down these heavy fonts so that it has that dense feeling. It has this more sunk look to it, which is for us a more filling, a more a, a dense treat. So here's another example of this. You're going to see something that's kind of in the middle here. This is kind of a hybrid where they've placed this up here, these kind of like pomegranates up here, so that your eye is drawn to the top, yet there's a sinkage of the heavy dense. So they're trying to create this light look with this dense chocolate that's here. So you're seeing that in effect here. I really like the way that they've kind of trinled this font so that it's like, that's it, and then truffles is heavy here. So when you're designing your packaging, you have to think about whether you want your product to be dense or light. Let me show you another example. See how it's designed? I think it's designed this bottle any way they want. Why is it tall and slender? Because this is a feminine bottle. This is something that's supposed to look appealing to females, tall and thin. Now with males, we're more drawn to, let me see if I can find something here. Okay, I got it. So we're more drawn to this sort of design. You see how it's denser, it's thicker, and then you have again this strong font that's here, and then this bottom kind of right hand dip that you have this sink that's taking place. This is something that's geared more of a masculine look compared to this guy right here, which is more of a feminine look. Their font is going upward. See how it kind of has this feel of going up, it's light, it's floating. Now here's another little packaging hack. You're gonna see how this bag is matte. The reason that it's matte is that we tend to lean towards things that are more organic, handmade, and healthy. When stuff is matte, the way this is. So you as an a, should be, handmade shop, you can look at more of this type of shape. You'll notice that a lot of just pure ingredients will come in bags like these because of the, the way that it looks. Let me show you. So here are two different bags. You can see that both of them are built the same way. It's, these want to look dense, right? They want to make them look like a lot of product in them, but yet they have that sort of matte bag feel. Glossy things like Doritos, they have sort of that unhealthy look to them. So I try to avoid glossy things and when I'm trying to sell a product, unless it's transparent. If it's transparent, that's totally fine because a transparent bag allows you to see the product and takes away from the bag. But if you're gonna design a bag or put your product in a bag, try to go for something that's a little bit more matte. It's gonna have that handmade feel, it's gonna feel more organic, and it's gonna be easier to present in shelves what you're trying to show other people. Now let's go down to my office and let's talk about color. Hey, okay, so welcome to the office. I'm gonna put this color wheel up here for you. This color wheel is what I'm gonna be going off of as we talk about colors. Now, when you use these colors, you're gonna to want to think about like maybe in your social media or maybe even in your listing pictures when you're showing the product and walking people through the product, you're gonna to wanna to think about the emotion that's connected with these colors because emotion sells first, logic is second. So we're gonna lead with that emotion. That's why this is important stuff to know. So let's jump right into this, the color red. Red is associated with desire, with passion. It's a exciting energy type that you get with the color red. So a, a good example of this is when Netflix first started, they were kind of those red box type things and you could go in and get 
uh, order your stuff. And um, it was just this kind of new and exciting brand that was there. You'd get this red thing that was delivered to you. And it's a movie. And movies have a lot of that emotion that's a st- that's in it. The excitement, the energy, the passion. And so I believe that's why Netflix kind of chose red when they originally started was for that reason. Okay, so let's now shift to orange. Orange is an optimistic. It's an uplifting. It's a fun color. Etsy is orange. And I believe it's because Etsy, as they started, was a place for people to come together and sell their products. And it was very much, <laughs> notice I'm using past tense here, very much on handmade, very much on being people connecting with other artists to kind of create this community of good. And I think that's that fun that's there, that optimistic that's there. I think that's associated with that. Another good example is maybe like Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon is a fun kids TV show. I don't know what it is these days, but they use the color orange. It's just kind of an optimistic, fun color. Yellow is by far a happy color. So you use yellow when you're trying to have something that is a sim. I like the term simple happy. So something that is simple, something that is happy, positive, optimistic, I think can even fall under there. That's when you use the color yellow. It's just a really great, simple color to bring the emotion of happiness to somebody. Green is associated with growth. Green is new hope. It's this new opportunity. It's a, a baptism of new emotions that are coming in. It's supposed to be a lot of health brands, a lot of even foods and teas and things like that. They use the color green to kind of promote this, you're going to come as a certain person and leave a different person. So if your product is something that, you know, is, 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 has an out, you know, put something on your face and it helps your face or whatever, like green can be really great in that because it helps us kind of have that new birth feel in what we're doing. I'm going to skip blue for a second. Let's talk purple. So purple's creativity. It's, uh, it's funny. It's royalties. What's on here. Um, but purple, I think what I would call it is a creative zone. So a lot of like people who are doing things out of the box with what they're doing, it's something that's different, will have that purple color. And that purple is to show that we're out of the box. So I think the, <laughs> this is a weird one, but the purple mattress, literally that's what they are trying to promote is like, hey, we are something different. We're more creative. And they use the color purple to really show that. Okay. So now I'm going to talk blue. Blue is the when in doubt color is what I call it. So if you keep in mind, if you are trying to keep your products at the center, black is a good color to use. It just kind of keeps your product at the center. If you're trying to spark emotion as people are going through this and you don't know, if you've heard all these, you're like, man, I don't know which one to use. I'm going to tell you what, you can't go wrong with blue. Blue is trust. And so if you have blue, you'll notice that a lot of presidential candidates, they either wear red or blue and red being energy, desire, passion, or blue being reliable safe, trustworthy. So a lot of brands add blue into what they're doing because blue is encompassing what they need, which is that trust that they're trying to get. So if you're trying to say something along, you know, you have a product that maybe people are are kind of worried about, I don't know if this is going to be good or if my kid's going to write it in blue. Blue is a great way to invoke that kind of trust that you're going to have a lot of brands use blue and when in doubt, just use blue. Now, these colors are mainly for United States Westerners type people. It changes as you go throughout the world. So depending on if you're in Europe or whatnot, you can you can try to look up some of the colors that are different for certain people. But for the most part, the reds, the blacks, the yellows, they all play kind of this internal emotional charge in what we're doing. So as you're going out, creating your packaging, getting your fonts in, getting your colors in, I want you to use these principles and really elevate what you're doing. Okay, guys, until the next one. See ya.